Bye bye bye. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Bianca Monroy. And on today's video, I'm gonna bring you guys along to see me get my very first tattoo. It's a really big thing for me. I'm such an overthinker and I'm super indecisive as well. Two things that do not go very well with getting a tattoo. So I've always been pushing it off. It's just time. It's time for me to get over that fear, grow some and do the things that I want to do. So the place I want to get my tattoo is right here. I don't know the pain levels for right here. Am I crybaby? I don't know, but we'll see. I'm so excited. And also, before we start today's video, subscribe because I'm almost at 4K, which really, really means the world to me. Just everyone that comments something nice and likes my videos and subscribes, just know that I cry a little bit inside. So I love you guys so much, but anyways, keep on watching. It's so funny because on Snapchat exactly a year ago I posted this makeup look and I just want to recreate it because like what a coincidence it's this like look at the eye makeup so bomb so the makeup look that I'm actually gonna be doing is super super beginners friendly all you need is a compact brush like this and just brown eyeshadow I think that color complements my eyes really nice and super super easy because because you're doing the eyeliner with the brush and if you mess up you easily just smudge it and you're good unlike eyeliner where if you mess up and you try to clean it it smudges everywhere it creates a mess and now you're just left with black smudge everywhere but this it comes out super super easy so I turn on some lights, I don't know if you guys can tell. But I'm going on the right track. I just messed up a little bit, but like I said, I just cleaned it. Easy. Okay, this is her. Look at how cute she is. Now we have to do it to the other eye. Look at how cute my makeup came out. Sometimes I do have bad makeup days, but luckily I did not. And usually when I do have bad makeup days, it's days that I'm in a hurry and I'm just like... Sometimes I do my makeup with my light off and then I go outside and I'm like, bad idea. But right now I'm going to change because I'm still in my PJs. And then I have to be at the door because I want to stop by to get us some coffee. I don't know if that's a good idea though because I haven't eaten anything. And when I have coffee in an empty stomach, I'm really, really jittery. So I want to wear a tank top, so I'm going to be wearing this Zara plain tank top, but it's still cold outside, so I'm going to wear this oversized hoodie. I just want to wear something really easy to just have my arm out, easy peasy. This is a cute outfit as well. Not for my jeans, I don't want to wear denim because I'm kind of bloated and I haven't used the bathroom, but I'm running late, so I'm like... <laughs> I'm going to be wearing my all-time, all-time favorite jeans ever. They're so bomb. And I thrifted these for only $14. And I've been trying to find the brand, but I can't really find these same exact jeans. But they're so cute. They make your waist look so nice. And they're like mid-rise. They're not high-waisted. Like, I've realized my body does not look good in high-waisted pants. My hips aren't the biggest. So high-waisted just kind of make me look like... That. and they're so popular like that's all I see in stores is high-waisted pants and I just want to find a good mid-rise pants I've had them for a year now and they're so good quality <laughs> luckily my mom made breakfast this is what she made it's like breakfast rice just eggs rice and ham and bacon today's a lucky day because i thought i was gonna have to make food i'm gonna eat this and then i'm gonna go so guys i still had to get my coffee but now i'm here so gentle you know i hear that a lot though that you're hella gentle yeah 
<laughs> what? We're done, guys. Look at how cute it is. But now she's gonna wrap it. And we're done. Well, guys, I'm now back home, and that was a core memory. I love going to Natalia. That's her name. I love her vibe. She was giving me free therapy. I vented so much, and she's just so chill. I love her. So if you're in Seattle and you want to get tattooed, here's her Instagram. So why do you put it outside? What do you mean? I mean, so like no one can see, can see it. Why? Why do you want to do if nobody can see it? Because it's a tattoo for myself. Ah, okay. That's I'm just so proud of myself. I finally took the leap and I got something permanent on my body. Guys, you don't understand how much I love my tattoo. Like it's just something that I can keep to myself. Like you can't see it at all until I go like this. Like the pain was like a three out of a ten. Like all I can feel is probably like a pen being drawn on you kind of hard that's how it felt the symbol does have a name it's called the triple goddess and it just basically kind of represents like before the now and the after it represents like three phases of a woman and that's what i take from it because there's a lot of meanings to it as well they all have the same concept of the meaning that i just said like before now and after and at first i was just gonna get one to show that i'm just in the beginning of my female phase for some reason i slept on it and i woke up and i was like i need the whole symbol and i just made it such a big deal because i love my body so much that i don't want something on it that doesn't mean anything to me like i just think it's so it's just so special to me because the meaning and now i know like no matter like whenever i look at it i'm just like it me está acompañando like it's always with me this is always going to be on my body that's how i always thought about tattoos like always always going to be on you and if you guys want to get a tattoo that has no meaning go and get it you do you you do what you feel best oh and excuse my bra strap that was featured in like every scene <laughs> it's day two ignore the mess please i've been like up and down everywhere and guess what guys i'm gonna go get another tattoo i know i preach that tattoos are like it's such a big dedication a very big you know commitment and i'm very indecisive that part is also very true but i just like the first tattoo i've heard about this like how the first tattoo just opens your confidence about getting more but now i'm just like i want another tattoo i just feel like it's so unique to you every time i look at this tattoo while i'm showering or whatever i'm just like oh wow that's me that's my creation i decided to do that it's like really something very unique on our body so i invited a friend to come along with me and get another tattoo because i think that's just so fun let's go get tattoos together that's so cute look at i never noticed how bomb my back profile is so my friend is already here I need to get a coat i like i don't want to put on a coat but i just know right when i go outside it's gonna be super super cold i just threw on this like really old juicy couture jacket that I have. I'm ready. Mom, guess what? what? I'm gonna go get another tattoo. Chicken butt. Oh, I'm gonna go get another tattoo. Really? We're wearing the same <laughs> outfit. Same <laughs> Air Forces too. <laughs> Well, Mari saw his art and was like, I need something else. I need, I need something, something else. bigger. She went from <laughs> getting just that. And then now what are you going to get? I'm going to get something in the, on my chest. Ooh. I'm going last, guys. I'm just scared for the finger one. People, like, cry. And they'll be like, oh, shit. It's not that bad. She's getting my name tatted in Chinese. <laughs> Hold on. 
It's not that bad, huh? Right on. Oh we did a little God. test right here. So originally I wanted to get a bee right here. But she said that sometimes you get an allergic reaction to red ink. So we just did the little heart to test it out. So I'm going to show my mom my new tattoo. Let's see what she says. Mm -hmm. But look. I can't even go and look at it. Okay. So my mom... <laughs> well, you don't like it? I mean, I would never do something like that. Shopping. I don't know. It's okay. <laughs> what do you mean? It's okay. I think it's so cute. Like me. It has a really nice meaning to it. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this vlog. I hope you guys subscribe and you like it. Anyways, see you in my next video. Bye.